Hello YouTube, how you doing Earthlings? Alright, this is another Trash Bash Scratch Built Robots video. Uh, I wanted to show you some of the ones I've made since my last video and um, what I'm doing late, uh, with the rec most recent ones. Right, so without further ado I'm just going to place you down there and move this garbage out of the way it mostly was garbage um, right so first of all this was my I suppose it's the Andy Mecca lid bot entry that I'm going to make a little video out of I want to do him a little respray I've uh, I can't remember what I called him, I'm going to have to write down the names from future because I called him something and I can't remember what I called him now but um, I'm not sure about the hands yet but I may, may well replace them with um, more robot-y hands or make them a bit more robot looking but I think he's just sort of saying please shake my hand, I just want to be friendly he's a uh, his eyes move around a little bit like that. His uh, and his waist moves. So hello, bit bit of a uh, rog rog from uh, the trapdoor sort of voice. Hello, I want to be your friend. Please shake my hand. Anyway, there's my lid bot. Uh, oh yeah, also I adjusted uh, this one as well. I did have some sort of car wheels and tyres on the side there, but I, I just decided to take them off because I thought it looked a bit better without them. Um, next one is probably the one, I'm, the one I'm most pleased about, to be honest. This is a... Uh, this one's called Headspace, because I've used headphones for the uh, this bit here. He's got some uh, little jets gimbling on the on the underside there and he's got some jets in his feet as well his rocket rocket uh, nozzles so he can fly about um, and also I don't know if you can see or not he's got a light that shouldn't really be coming on but because it's supposed to be off but uh, I think you could see for a second there let me try and actually turn it on properly. I've got a little slot that I use. A scalpel blade. Uh, of course, um, I did have some success with wiring up this one. And of course, as soon as you uh, put the uh, glue it all together, it stops working properly. But there we are. Can you see that on the screen, got a little light in there and the light sort of shines up inside this little, no it's gone off again, yeah the light shines up on, underneath this little groove and underneath this little groove as well which I sort of made a little, yeah it's not really working at all well, very uh, unsuccessful with my, my the lighting up of my bots but I think Yeah, it's just a uh, a cheapo tea light, four of them for a pound from Lidl, from a uh, Poundland uh, for Halloween. So that's what that was. Uh, yeah, these are just lollipop sticks, beads, beads. So the end cap from a uh, someone chucked out there, clothes drying thing or something. So I just cut one of those in half. These are the ends from someone's weightlifting bench that I pulled the, there was a sort of a metal bit and I pulled the rubber stopper out the end and cut that in, cut the, uh, the, the bit that fits into the metal bit off and then, then just chopped it in half and that's the, uh, his feet done and I think they came out really well. And this one here, he's just a uh, sort of, workhorse of a droid of a robot he's uh, 
There's a couple of lids here, bits of them in the inside of the twistable um, crayon things. It's got movable joints here, movable joint there, movable joints here. Got all of these hydraulic lines all over the place. Yeah, this one's called tree bore because this is a tree bore mint pot or tree bot. Yeah, that's what I was going to call them tree bot. I was going to change the R to a T maybe. But it's got this uh, tree bore mint sort of pot and sort of a spring action there. And I've given him a little sort of hatch looking thing on the top of his head. Uh, so then it can be a kind of a mecca if you if I want it to be. But yeah, and the um, these are just some beads I inserted into the end now. I didn't really know what to do with these beads. And one of his one of his little things has come off. I don't know where that's gone. I haven't noticed that missing before. But yeah, he's got three little pins of bits on each of his hands and one of these has come off so I'm gonna have to replace that. I don't know where that's gone. Yeah, that's uh, my most recent robot build. Right, am I going to better turn this off? Yeah, there we are. Go up my shelf. I want to get a few together and then I want to do a little video of spray painting them all and turning them from weird coloured bits of plastic into actual little droids yeah so this one once again that's a pen lid from a set of pens funny enough these are connectors for well, well my neighbour below me might recognise these because he gave me a few of these I'm going to need some more, I think, though, and then there's some other electrical connectors there. Uh, yeah, a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight lids on this one. Um, I don't know what that was from. This was from the inside of a sort of a screwing, sort of syringe thing that I've just bent up. These are, that's from a lighter fuel. Uh, Thing. This is from the inside of a pen. This is a bit for holding the fuse into a plug. Um, these just end caps off someone's clothes drying thing. I'm quite lucky actually because in my block of flats we have the metal recycling and electrical items uh, um, bin. So I'm able to sort of go down and uh, find all sorts of bits sometimes. So got a sort of a supply of stuff but I do need I'm always looking for stuff I'm always coming back from when I'm feeding the birds and I've got lids and things that I uh, found along the way all right this is another build that I'm doing this is what I would mainly wanted to make the video for so I wanted to make this one a sort of a, a four-legged robot with a great big gun on the top I want to sort of expanding my horizons a little bit instead of just doing a little dome with some things on the side and a couple of eyes and a couple of legs I quite like most of them have been I want to expand my horizons a lot more and get into a bit more of um, adventurous looking and larger robots because you can do a lot more with larger things and this gun's going to be on top there with this was donated to me or given to me by my neighbour who's got some got lots of uh, the 3A toys um, things and these were just surplus to requirements. I've got three pieces I've got, I've got to uh, I've got the pleasure of putting into my robot. So that's going to be on the top there and it's probably going to have cowling all over the top of it as well and lots of uh, lots of piping and conduits and uh, um, hydraulic lines and that. But I've, I just wanted to quickly try and uh, I've got battery power, loads of battery power. I wanted to do pistons on these. So I've got this, these, uh, these are just closed pegs. Um, well, they're both closed pegs, actually, but these ones were originally looked like this. Um, the idea for buying these came from Bill Making Things, or stuff, I can't remember what it's called, Bill Making Things. 
Bill making stuff. I can't remember. Yeah. But Bill, Bill told me to buy clothes pegs. They got a kind of a sort of an industrial sort of look. So I just chopped those in half. I've got a little Daisy wants to come in. Come on, Daisy. Right, so yeah, um, and if you can see down here, I've been doing lots of sorting out of all my bits and pieces. There's all my ball joints and ball joints there and ball jointy bits there and dentistry stuff. These are all of the ball joints you'll see in my in my droids. Um, so yeah, I did only have a couple out, but I thought, well, I'm never going to be doing dentistry stuff again. There's all my clothes pegs that I've found in the litter. And then I've got uh, all these plastic, different sized plastic sticks here. From quite thin up to quite thick. And then all of the other bits of plastic and lollipop sticks and other bits of plastic there. So I think I'm going to be using these ones here and bits of lollipop stick. Not a lollipop stick. These are bits that I've used for other projects and never throw any bit any bits away. So what my idea is, and I'm not going to do it, I'm just going to show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to have a bit of the that one's not lollipop stick. I've already tried this in there, that sort of fits in there quite nicely and then I'm going to have cut off about there and then the, the, the other, these bits of plastic stick which will fit nicely in there as a piston and attach that to this bit there and then uh, I can carry on from there really but yeah I've got another one as well, I've got this other um, sort of a post-apocalyptic uh, weirdy bot. I want to start doing some weirdy things, some strange sort of alien-y looking sort of robots with... Uh, I want to have a... that. And I've got some Native American fight, uh, Phoenix Follies figures from praying down to the... Uh, so it's going to have Native Americans from, you know, early Native when, you know, when they were really old, uh, uh, pray into a baby robot. <laughs> it sounds really stupid saying it, but I'm sure it will be, uh, um, yeah, have a look at the art of, um, The art of Philip Hodas, that's F I L I P Hodas, H O D A S. He does all this sort of dystopian art of uh, you know, using um, Buzz Lightyear's head and turning him into a, uh, a robot sort of thing. But it's really, really cool, I think. And I want to sort of get into some, doing some something a bit different to what other people have done. So, anyway. I'll leave it there for this one. Hope you enjoyed this video and quite enjoy my bot making. I've just seen a really, really cool video that Andy Mecca recommended. Uh, I can't remember who it was by, but there are some fantastic robot makers out there. And I think I'll just, just take a little bit more time doing them instead of just whacking them out one a day. I think I should start doing and thinking about them a lot more and adding more detail and taking a bit more time to sort of carve out bits of plastic from bulk bottles and actually making my own shapes instead of trying to find the shapes already in bits of plastic but um, anyway 15 minute video I think that would do us for the time being thank you very much for watching 
hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like or subscribe or something if you haven't done so already. I said in my last video, I'm only a three away from a thousand subscribers, which is quite amazing. Um, mm, message from the dark side, Derry. Mm, message from the dark side, Um, Yeah, that'd be a message then. Yeah, thank you very much for watching. I'm going to do something special for a thousand subscribers. I don't know what yet. I'll think about it. Have a good day, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and goodbye. Be careful out there, and uh, be lucky. Bye-bye.